The walls are barely up on Foxconn's first building in its massive Mount Pleasant development, but the company already has dozens of employees there. Vince Vetrano introduces us to the first Wisconsin man hired by Foxconn and the job he has ahead of him. Well, Foxconn promised to hire 13,000 people to work at its Wisconsin operations. The very first guy they hired is a Navy veteran named Tank Murdoch, and it's now his job to recruit 12,999 others to join him. One of the first occupants of Foxconn's downtown office building is a former fighter pilot who still goes by his call sign. I'm probably not the first person to point out that Tank seems to be an unusual nickname for a Navy man. <laughs> right. You want to explain that? Uh, it really has no um, an easy explanation. Tank is full steam ahead, aggressively working to fill the hundreds of jobs posted already. Are a lot of these positions that are being that you're hiring for right now, or are they good? We got you. We'll let you know when these. No, when sir. These jobs we're hiring. We're hiring right now. Absolutely, we're in an all-out hiring push. The company is recruiting primarily through local job fairs: Madison, Racine, Waukesha, and even out-of-state events in Philadelphia and Washington. And that's just this week. I guess the best way to say it would be seeking knowledge workers. So we're seeking people that, uh, you know, that can work with information, turn information and knowledge, knowledge into innovation around our technologies. It's a vague description, but deliberately so. A scan of the available jobs shows Foxconn hiring everyone from engineers to event coordinators. We are in a, at the beginning of a huge growth phase for Wisconsin Valley, Foxconn and Wisconsin. So we need people with all, all skills. Following years in the cockpit, including multiple combat deployments, Murdoch was running the Naval ROTC program at UW-Madison. He took this job in part because of Foxconn's desire to hire thousands of veterans. I don't have to tell the veterans about what they can bring to industry and civilian world. I, I, they already know that. Um, what I can do is share a little bit of my experience in making the transition uh, because I, I truly thought it was going to be very easy. And I found out that it, it, was, it was more difficult than I, than I thought it would be. It's not landing fighter jets on the deck of an aircraft carrier, but this job is no cakewalk, filling thousands of positions in a time of historically low unemployment and keeping a promise to Wisconsin. There were people suggesting that the, you know, the 13,000 people to be hired was, was a lofty goal and may not be achieved. It is a lofty goal. Do you have any doubt this it's company absolutely. is going to hire 13,000 people? I have no doubt whatsoever. We're going to do our best to do it. Tank will be the guest speaker at the Heroes of Wisconsin USO Gala Saturday night. He'll be congratulating the award winners and no doubt will also be looking for job candidates. So if you're looking, there are tickets for that event still available. Vince Vetrano, today's TMJ4. All right, Vince, and by the way, we've set up a link to the Foxconn Jobs website where you can see all the available positions as well as find a job fair near you. So just click on the links page of TMJ4.com.